can use your body weight. Hey, welcome back. It's a beautiful morning here. And today we're going to do a kumite drill. So for those of you that love kumite, Friday night fights. So we're gonna cover bouncing in uh, kumite. You know, a lot of times, especially in sports martial arts, you'll see people bouncing a lot. You know, like this all over the place. You know, some people are very sporadic. Some people have like a nice flow to it. All right, let's get to it. When it comes to bouncing, here's a common mistake, right? So it's not really, we're not really jumping off the ground like this. You know, you'll see some people and, and literally they're getting like air time. Like they're literally up in the air. So that's also a very beginner mistake. If you watch some of the more advanced competitors, you know, they might be just off the ground a little bit, moving around. So it's actually not so much bouncing as it is just bending your knees. We're trying to trying to stay light on our toes. Because obviously it's much harder to hit a target if it's moving around. So what we want to do is not necessarily jump up, but stay light on our toes so that at any time we can push off and be ready to move. So that's really what we're going for when it comes to the bouncing. You know, just being light on your toes and at any point being able to shift your weight versus just standing still. It's much harder to move when we're standing still. So once everything's moving, you know, you don't know when you're going to attack, you're going to attack. Openings there, your, your knees are nice and bent, and you can push forward or off to an angle. So keeping on that idea, when you're bouncing, you should not be standing straight right here, just forward and back, forward and back. We want to be moving around as much as we can so that we change the angle and actually make it complicated for the other person. So keep that in mind. So the main thing to get out of this is when you're practicing your kumite, you're balancing, don't stay still, move around, and don't think of it as jumping up, but bending your knees and coming down, grounding yourself so that you can use your body weight, push forward, like that. So, just bend, bending my knees, am I jumping, am I jumping, and then I push, that's it. So, work on that. If you can work on it with a partner, even better. So, you work together, trying to, uh, as one comes forward, the other one goes back using the same concept. And let me know how this works for you. If you're already doing this, awesome. Try it. Train for, like this for like a week or two. Don't tell anyone. Keep it a secret. And see if it improves your, uh, your game plan at the end of the day. Obviously, this applies to different types of martial arts. Um, but just keep that in mind. You, know, you don't want to jump in the air. If you're in the air, you can't do anything. You know, If I jump up, I can't change directions. So... Avoid getting air time, stay down. Plus, you know what? Now you made me think of it, it actually helps disguise how tall you are. Like sometimes you'll, you'll see taller people get lower and lower, and the other person doesn't realize how tall you are because you're, you're bending down. It's a little, uh, little extra thing that works for some people. Or I did something like that where I, I bend all the way down, and it was a pretty tall opponent. Next thing you know, you know, I was close enough through the hook kick. I went from down here, did a foot replace. Put on Washington hook kick to that. It was beautiful. Um, it was just deceiving. He, he didn't expect me to be that flexible, or that maybe my legs were that long. You know, from just bouncing down. So keep that in mind and hit the bell button. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you would like to see. And talk to you guys next time.